title of this video today is Keyboard Maestro Making the Impossible Possible on the Mac. I ran across a task today that was really very tedious and I didn't want to have to do it. Uh, I discovered when I was trying to uh, work with some JavaScript in the Apple script editor that uh, the font was really too small. Uh, I had adjusted my fonts for Apple Script to something that was better for this platform, which was uh, 14 point, but I had not adjusted the JavaScript fonts, uh, which are all down around 12, and those are kind of small. And to do that, for each one of these critters, I have to double click on it, and then I have to select the size, which I want to be 14, and then I have to dismiss this dialogue, okay? So I have to do that about 18 times here. I don't really want to do that. Uh, you know, it'll only take me, you know, five minutes or so, but even so, I don't want to have to do that. Um, plus, I want to see if it's something that I can automate with Keyboard Maestro. So uh, I'm going to bring up the Keyboard Maestro Editor, and I'm going to go to my Script Editor macro group, which only works in the Script Editor, uh, and I'm going to create a new macro, uh, and we'll, let's see, let's name that Script Editor, whoops, Script Editor, um, Resize Fonts, okay, and since I know pretty much what I want to do already, I'm going to bring up the insert action by name dialog and I'm going to uh, insert a found image action. Uh, I'm going to change it to just move because I'm going to do it. Uh, I'm going to test with it first. Uh, but I got to come up with an image. So I need to make this image very unique. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to resize all these things so they're about as small as they can be and I'm going to use this uh, highlight color plus the edge down here to uh, create a unique image to click on. So I'm going to zoom the screen using uh, an accessibility function of the Mac OS and then I'm going to take a screenshot Let's just go ahead and make it big. Let's see, let's take it down off of there. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use a piece of the side of the screen where there's uh, some extra pixels and it will make it extra unique. So I'm going to copy that, unzoom the screen. Come on, there you go. And come, over, come over here and paste. Uh, and then, let's see, let me give this a trigger. I'll give it a hotkey trigger of option in. Now, let's see if it works. Okay, it found my image. 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 Okay, that's very good. So, now I need to figure out what I was going to have to do to do this by hand. Uh, I don't want that. I want uh, the font. Uh, so, so, if I bring this up and I can tab one, two, three, four. Let's try it again. One, two, three, four. Okay. Looks like four tabs gets me over into the font size field, so I'm going to come back to Keyboard Maestro and use an insert text by typing action. We'll put in tab one, two, three, four, and I need uh, for the field to we change to 14 point, so I'll put in a 14, and then I need it to confirm the change, so I'm going to put in a return character, 
Uh, and after that, I want to dismiss the dialog. So I'm going to put in a keystroke action, uh, and I'm going to put in a command W. Plus, uh, I want it to automatically move the selection down for me. So I'm going to duplicate this and change the command W to a down arrow. So now I'm going to see if all this works. Uh, so it failed. Uh, why? Okay, I think I, oh, I just moved. I needed to double click. Okay, so back to this. It did what I wanted it to do, and you can see that it changed 12 to 14. And uh, so I'm going to do it again. Uh, I'm going to turn the display off so it'll be just a trifle faster and it won't distract me either. And then I'm going to do it again, uh, and again, and again, and again, and again. And one more time, okay. And now I'm all done except for apply. So now I apply it. And as you can see, my JavaScript is a little bit easier to read. Uh, and the task is done. And I learned something. Uh, I learned how to make a macro to do this specific task pretty easily. Uh, and instead of uh, five minutes of really boring, repetitive action. I spent 10 minutes uh, creating a macro, uh, and it took me even longer since I'm uh, making a video at the same time. But this gives you exa an example of some of the slick things that you can do with Keyboard Maestro that are seemingly impossible to do on the Mac but really aren't. Uh, I guess that's it for now. Talk to you later.